Everybody's welcome. Welcome to Verse of the Day. Thank you for joining me. My name is Brandon Hathaway, and I'm the preacher here at the Westside Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And today we're in Isaiah 56. We're going to look at the first eight verses here. I know uh, I don't usually do that many verses, but they all really go together here, and I like the point that it's making. And uh, again, the, the point it's making, everybody's welcome. And, and so even under the Old Testament, because that's where we're at here in Isaiah, we're in Isaiah, and, and God is letting it be known, even those who who come into the land and become part of Israel and they start serving, whether they were servants and they start, you know, they go through the circumcision, they, they, they end up doing their part. Read with me. Start with verse 1. It says, Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my righteousness be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, and the Son of Man who hold his fast, who keeps the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, The Lord will surely separate me from his people. And let not the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbath, who choose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant. I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord, and to be his servants, everyone who keeps the Sabbath and does not profane it and holds, my, holds fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. The burnt offering and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. For the Lord God, who gathers the outcast of Israel, declares, I will gather yet others to him besides those already gathered. What great joy that should bring to each and every one of our hearts. That as you read through this, he's making it clear that all are welcome. That he was welcoming them then, and he is going to make it sure that all have the opportunity to come to him. That he's going to establish a house of prayer. And that all would be able to come and to worship him, to give themselves over, to keep his commandments, to be faithful to him, and to receive more blessings, to, to, to receive salvation it's just i mean what a wonderful thought what what wonderful words these are they're truly great words they're truly wonderful uh, just uh they should give us great joy because it's that that's why we have salvation today that that god has welcomed all to him to come to him for salvation he sent his son so that everybody could be saved I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful Saturday, a good weekend, and if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.